what's going on guys just got a quick video whilst i'm on this little roll of uploading um and i'm basically just gonna explain and show you how to add a dns service to a device so what is a dns service for anyone who don't know it is simply um a service that you apply to your device and it works kind of like a vpn only you don't get no slowing down it doesn't slow down your network you don't have to turn it on and off it just stays on your network on whichever device it is that you apply it to so as you can see i've got quite a few of geo locked applications on here and because i don't have a dns set up right now or have a vpn turned on i can't access it so you cannot access the zone in this region and i'll just show you again with something that's in the united states hbo max it will just won't load the content i'm signed in on both of these apps with my um logins but it just will not let me connect to the content because it think it knows that i'm still in the uk so the first thing that you want to do once you've got your service set up is you want to make sure that you activate your IP address within your settings. Um, it'll be really straightforward on the home page where you've set up and you've picked your username and password, etc., and put your details in. They will ask you to authorize your IP address. So you want to do this on a device that is connected to your home network. And you want to make sure that you've not got a VPN switched on or anything like that. It needs to know your home network address. So once you've got that authorised, you want to go into your settings. Network and internet. As you can see, my Ethernet is connected. You want to go into IP settings and you want to change this down to static. So once you've done this, the first thing it's going to want you to do is put in an IP address. So... To find this IP address that you need to use, it's basically your router IP address. So if you download a networking app um, or you go into your Wi-Fi settings, you'll be able to find the address, the IP address that is your IP address, your router address, sorry. So definitely make sure that it's your router address that you're taking note of. Get this wrote down somewhere so you don't forget it. And you want to put in the first three groups of numbers. So, for instance, mine is 192.168.0.1. So, I'm going to keep the 192 and the 168. I'm going to change that one into a zero. And I'm going to put in there... I'm going to put 25. You can put any random number in that. That last group of numbers is going to be your unique IP address for this device. So as long as you've not gone changing this on multiple devices, don't use the same one for each one you do. Just pick a random number and you should be fine with that number. Um, if you do have problems with this, it's because something else on your network has got this IP address. So I'll just change it to one up or one down or 10 up or 10 down, whichever one that it is that you want to use. So yeah, router IP address, the first three groups of numbers, the last set of numbers is a number that you're going to pick at random. Your gateway address is actually going to be the same as your router address. So you want to change that to whatever your router address is. So I'm just going to quickly put the zero and the point one in here. Your net network prefix stays the same at 24. You never need to change this. Now your DNS 1 and your DNS 2 are where you're going to get from your service. So once you've got your account set up, you've authorised your IP address, it will then give you a list of custom DNS addresses. So each address will be different for each country or each sitter in a country. So, for instance, this first address that I'm going to put in here is the United States and it's New York. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here quickly.
So that's the first address put in there. DNS2, you're going to choose a different city or a different country, whichever one you want. It's up to you guys on which services you want to unlock. I'm going to put a San Francisco address in here. And you're just going to hit the next button and it will save all that information you've just put in there. So as you can see, I'm still connected by Ethernet. My home screen is still working. If at this point your internet won't connect and you're getting notifications saying it's connected with problems or it is not connecting at all, you've done something wrong. Take your time doing this, guys. It's a really simple, quick thing to do, but it's really easy to make a mistake. Write down your router IP address, just have it in front of you so you're not scrambling with your member and trying to remember what it was that your address is and just take your time doing this. It's only a five minute step but if you do it wrong it becomes a headache and it takes you much longer. So the next thing I will recommend you to do is just to restart your device. Just to make sure that the device does get connected up to this new network that you've tricked it into thinking that it's on um, and your services should work straight away so i'll let this boot up and i'll show you just how simple it is to navigate through your services now without having to flip the vpns on and off choose different locations and stuff like that this will just stay on your device for as long as you have it set up to remove this all you want to do is change your um ip straight back to normal if you change it from static it will just reset to normal anyway so you don't even have to manually put anything in just change it from static and it'll go back to your normal network So there we go guys as i said if this hadn't of set up correctly none of this would load up you would just get a blank um home screen especially on the fire tv it would just say connected with problems cannot load home screen and all that stuff and just to show you that this is now set up on my network i'll open these apps as you can see i've not turned the vpn on in any place i've just gone straight into these apps after the device has restarted and there we go content is playing you're loading up everything that you would usually I'll load up with a vpn the only you're not technique, having to mess it? about flicking so a vpn see, uh, on and off see so often and just to show you that this works for two different locations the zone is canadian hbo max is in the united states so i'm covered on both locations just by using those two dns addresses so as you can see I can now load up my services and there we go I've got no loss of speed the way I would with a VPN I don't have to toggle it on and off whenever I'm going from service to service this will just stay on my device and my Netflix will work as it should I have no problems loading my Netflix up my UK Netflix bt sport which would not work if i had a vpn enabled this will work as normal i don't have to turn a vpn on to watch one service turn it off to watch another service it's all just on your network and you've got no issues so yeah guys that's how you set up a dns service on any kind of android tv device or a fire stick or anything like that if there's anything you'd like to know extra but i think i've covered everything just let me know in the comments down below and I'll answer you. Thanks for watching.